Okay, everybody, welcome back to Supercard. WrestleMania is over. Uh, you can see I started a new King of the Ring. Um, I got bumped in the semis, so I didn't figure, I, I didn't see the point in just waiting to show you that. So, collected the rewards, rewards while I was at work. I got a Triple H and a Bret Hart, both good cards, but I already have pros of them, so whatever. I'll hold on to them for now. <clears throat> uh, I think this is like a 16 person King of the Ring. And all those losses came, like, just because I didn't want to play. I was too busy watching uh, WrestleMania. So, of course, I'm going to talk about that. And currently, the WrestleMania pack, or the Legendary pack, is 50% off right now. Regular 4,000. You can only buy two of these for 2,000 credits. So, against my better judgment, I'm going to buy one. If it's a WrestleMania card... I'll buy a second one, but I'm not holding out my hopes on that, so we're going to try one, and if it's not, then I'm just going to be mad that I bought and I spent on this, but please be a WrestleMania card. It's a Mark Henry. You know what? Screw it. Let's get another one. My luck can't be that bad. Because you, you can only buy two of these. They're not going to be 2,000 credits for a very long time. Let's see what we get. Please be a WrestleMania card. Gold. That was a waste. That was truly, truly a waste. Not like... You know, if they were like Rocks or John Cena's, you know, that'd be one thing. But Goldust and Mark Henry. What a waste. So that just shows you right there, don't buy the packs. Um, that's what that was. It was a learning experience for people. I just wanted to demonstrate why you shouldn't get them. But, <coughs> oh well. I learned my lesson. I think with those, like, the legendary cards are just so heavily weighted. Like, the weight of getting any of those cards, really. Like, let's say, like, getting a legendary card is 66%, you have a 66% chance of getting the legendary card, a 22% chance of getting the survivor, and like an 11% chance of getting a WrestleMania card. So the odds are just not in your favor, and yeah, you just saw it from me, don't, don't get them. <laughs> but uh, WrestleMania is over, I was very surprised with a lot of results, and some I wasn't surprised with, so we'll go over that. Um, I think I got all the pre-show matches right. Uh, I got, yeah, Kalisto won. I actually didn't watch the Divas tag match. I'm assuming, uh, Total Divas won. That's just what makes sense. And I did see the Usos match, so. And I got that right as well. The Usos would win the match, then put the Dudleys, uh, through a table. So, you know, they should sign me to write for them. Come up with storylines. Uh, onto the main card. Did anybody expect Zack Ryder to win? Because I sure as hell didn't. Uh, so yeah, Zack Ryder is your new Intercontinental Champion in something I really think nobody saw coming. Um, I wouldn't have... I, I, I just... I don't know how to react to that. That's just, that was just so weird. Like, I, th I was pretty sure it was going to be Sami Zayn. But then, you know, when The Miz showed up, near the end, he's sitting on top of the ladder, I figured, hey, the Miz is gonna get it, but then Zack Ryder showed up and, like, pushed him off, and I was just waiting the whole time for someone else to show up and push Zack Ryder off, I didn't think he was gonna win, so congratulations to the new Intercontinental Champion, I guess, um, I don't think anybody expected that, and I just need to check my phone, uh, okay, that's okay. Um, so yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, I was surprised that... What's his name? Chris Jericho? Beat, uh, beat AJ Styles. I didn't think that was going to happen. But Jericho kicked out of the Styles Clash again. And I think they're kind of making the Styles Clash look bad now. Because I think the only time... The only person who hasn't kicked out of the Styles Clash is Curtis Axel, and the only people that 
Styles has hit the Styles Clash on in WWE are Jericho and and uh, Curtis Axel. But Jericho kicked out of it again, which oh, man, like I I was I wish that was a move that did put people that would put people away. That should be a, a legitimate finisher. It doesn't make it look good if if Styles can't win with the Styles Clash unless it's against Curtis Axel. So I was very surprised to see Jericho win that match. I thought AJ Styles would be winning in his WrestleMania debut. So, yeah, that got me by surprise. Uh, for the now the women's championship, uh, it'd been going around like a rumor that you know they were going to rename it the women's division or the women's championship or whatever. Um, I didn't think it was going to happen at WrestleMania, but. The belt kind of looks cool. It's like a mixture of the World Heavyweight title and the TNA Knockouts Championship. It's got the white. It's a, looks exactly like the world title, but it's a white strap, and the background is red instead of black on the title. So it does look nice. Uh, I didn't think Charlotte was gonna win that one. Um, I thought they they really were setting it up for Sasha Banks to win that belt, but you know you had Ric Flair holding her back, so there was an excuse there as to why you know she didn't win. But I think it should have been Sasha Banks. Uh, the New Day lost. I I didn't see that one coming at all. I really thought, you know, that was being set up for them to win, but, and, you know, they came out in a giant box of bootios, which, which was great, and then, even better, they come out, and they've got Dragon Ball Z-inspired gear, which, uh, that was so cool, I was so happy to see that, um, yeah, the League of Nations won, which was really surprising, I didn't think that was gonna happen, but, I guess I see why they won, considering they went through the whole, you know, there is no three-man team that can beat us. And I found that strange. That's all that Stone Cold did at WrestleMania. And that's like the most active we've seen him in a long time either. Or as well. And they said no three-man team can beat us. First of all, I thought something was up when Shawn Michaels came out in his gear. Like his, you know, the, the pants he would wrestle in. I thought that was, something was going to be up. After that happened, then as soon as Mick Foley came out, you could tell Stone Cold was coming out just to hit everyone with a stunner. But, you know, at least, you know, even though Wade Barrett is on his way out, at least he can say he, he was in the ring with Stone Cold, even if it was just to take a stunner and a mandible claw and a sweet chin music. So, not many people can say they've taken all three at the same time. Um, what else happened? Oh, the Shane McMahon Undertaker match. Um, really, there's only one part of that match you need to talk about, and that's Shane jumping from the top of the cell onto the announce table, missing the Undertaker. Um, I, I, I didn't think he was going to actually do that, especially seeing, like, the cell looked huge, like, huge. And I think that cell is bigger than the normal ones. And I honestly thought Shane McMahon was going to die. As soon as he started looking up, you could you knew what was going to happen. And, you know, it's WrestleMania. It's Shane McMahon. Of course he's going to do something like that. And, yeah, he put his body on the line. That was... Uh, that's really all I can take away from that match. That's all I really cared about. And then, you know, Undertaker takes him in. Tombstone. That's it. It's whatever. Uh, Andre the Giant Battle Memorial. Uh, I didn't think I was going to see Shaquille O'Neal, but he was out of there pretty quick. And then, uh, you know, Baron Corbin won, which I don't think anyone really expected that. But when you looked at who was in the Battle Royal, um, I don't really think anyone cared who was going to win. So, yeah, there was that. Uh, we had an impromptu match of The Rock and Eric Rowan, which was weird. Like, The Rock 
just like he just takes up so much time with whatever he does and i thought something was going on when the wyatts started to come out of course something's going on the wyatts are coming out and the rocks in the ring so yeah something is going on obviously <laughs> but i didn't think what we ended up seeing was what was going to happen i didn't think the rock was actually going to wrestle i know he didn't actually wrestle but i didn't even think that was going to happen you know, he took off his shirt, ripped off his pants, and he's got his gear on. Like, I didn't expect that at all. Uh, John Cena showing up. You knew he was going to show up at some point. We just didn't know when. And then once, you know, he was kind of surrounded by the Wyatts, you could see it was going to be John Cena. So, you know, welcome back, John Cena. Um, you were supposed to be gone for, like, nine months, but... Hell. That's impressive you're back already. <laughs> Uh, going on to the main event, the Triple H, Roman Reigns. I was first of all, what the hell was up with Triple H's entrance? Um, that was even weirder than his Terminator one, his Conan the Barbarian one. That was just so weird with Stephanie McMahon going like over the top, as like you know an an action villain bad guy. It was just so strange, and you know it was a very simple match. Nothing really big happened other than the spear through the barricade. Are we going all the way to the end? You gotta be kidding me. One of these days I'll be able to do a video where I don't have to go to the last card. Um, but yeah, then he you know dodged some sledgehammer shots and then hit a spear and that was it. And I was I was like waiting for something to happen to have like it taken away from him. But then it never came. So I was like, okay, I guess he is champion now. So he is a three-time WWE champion. Seth Rollins has only been champion once, but Roman Reigns has only held that belt combined for a fraction of the amount of time that Seth Rollins has. You know, he's just uh, he's just keeping the belt warm for, for Seth Rollins when he comes back. But Raw will be interesting tomorrow. Brock Lesnar beat Dean Ambrose. You could see that coming from a mile away. Which, you know, it did its job. Brock Lesnar kicked ass. That was it. Chainsaw didn't work. Barbed wire baseball bat didn't work. So, yeah. I liked WrestleMania. I enjoyed it. Uh, you know, there were some points where it was slow. But, for the most part, I did enjoy it. So, one card left on the board. We just spent credits trying to get a Wrestlemania card. We didn't get any. Which is depressing. I wish I got one. Now I feel like I have wasted those credits. And we're going to pick this last card. Hopefully it's a Wrestlemania card. Knowing my luck, it's going to be a rare card. Let's see what we get. It's a rare card. Well, you, may, you know what? It was nice to try and hype that up. Can we get another reset, please? I guess not. Well, that's another day without getting another WrestleMania card. And anyways, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. Please take care.